Shalom Chavarim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. I wanted to share with you guys just a little bit here some things that we're watching. Uh, and this happens to be a video that was posted up on Twitter of the White Helmets. Uh, this was posted by Wally. He, put, he said, this last week, I... Um, Excuse me. I posted this video last week, but people needed to see it again. It's the White Helmets working side by side with the Al Qaeda branch in Syria, Jihabat al Nusra. You can even see the White Helmet members joining the Nusra guys in the uh, Takbir al Akbar chant. All right. I'm going to play this for you guys so you can see it for yourself. And I'll even try to move this up just a little bit for you because I really want you to be able to see and hear exactly what happens in this video here. Watch, watch the guy, especially in the front. You'll be able to see his mouth as he uh, uh, shouts about Allah Akbar. And he is one of the white helmets, four of these guys. Look at here. Now, as you can see, you know, they are there chanting out Allah Akbar. And this is supposed to be the group that gets the, uh, the amazing um, award for uh, being actors, right? Yeah, I can see why. That's what they do is they act a lot. Uh, anyway, I wanted to just share that with you guys so you could see what's going on there. And uh, a couple of other things real quick. Uh, RT is reporting about President Trump. They're setting up the different command posts there. It is part of, uh, of, a, of, an, of an ongoing operation um, on securing the southern border uh, in the United States. Uh, says here, we'll consider that, that a firearm, Trump says, rock throwing migrants may be shot as armed invaders. Um, they're talking about adopting the same policies that Israel does with the Palestinians at the Gaza Strip and other places, that if they're throwing rocks, they are considered armed. Uh, that's a very touchy policy. I'll go into that later this week. And by the way, speaking about these... Uh, these migrants coming up. And of course, I, I agree with a lot of people where they say it's an invasion. I agree with that. And also, a lot of people have said, oh, Steve, you don't really know what the 14th Amendment's about. It was all about the days of slavery, and it was to make sure they could become citizens. Yeah, I know that. Uh, but the point is, you have to understand, like I said in the video there, I didn't knock President Trump for doing it. I understood why he's trying to do it. He wanted to revamp the law because it's a loophole that is used today with illegal migrants coming in, getting a child born here, and then the whole family gets to come in as a result of a child being born here. I understand that. I get that. My big issue is don't separate children from families when they come in. Different issue altogether. But the other part that I noticed too is a lot of people were using this uh, the, the, the issue of this was done back in the 1800s and the 14th Amendment really had everything to do with slavery. But you got to be careful as you play that issue. And I'll tell you why. Because this is what the Democrats are doing about our freedom to bear arms, the right to bear arms, the Second Amendment, which is another hundred years older from the 1700s. Well, not technically another hundred years, but you understand the point. From the 1700s, and the Democrats run around saying that the founding fathers never really meant for us to have AK-47s and AR-15s, etc. those things there. And they're also using their loophole to try to battle this idea that in those days we only had powdered rifles, uh, you know, gun-powdered rifles, the muzzle loaders, etc. But, you know, I still believe in the right to bear arms, regardless, even though it was written in the 1700s. And, of course, today, yes, birthright citizenship is used, even though it was meant for slaves. I get it. I understand. 
But just remember, if you play that card, it's only for the days of the slaves. They're going to play the card with you as well on the Second Amendment. And believe me, I am for the Second Amendment, as I am for the 14th and for the First Amendment and all the other amendments that we have in the Constitution. So it's just something I just wanted to point out to you. No, I do get it. All right, so... Just, I think enough said on that right there. Uh, I was also paying attention to that the uh, the new Brazilian president, uh, Bolsonaro, says he is moving the embassy to Jerusalem. And doesn't come as any surprise to me, because you're going to find out when the two-state solution, or whatever kind of solution you want to call it, maybe it ends up being one state, uh, President Trump has been saying more and more again, two-state solution, but it really goes back to the time when this was all negotiated between the Vatican, Shimon Peres, and Yasser Arafat, and they were going to give East Jerusalem to the Palestinians, and West Jerusalem would have went to, guess what, to the Jews. So I fully expect that the embassies will be moved as part of a New World Order operation. So it's nothing that I didn't anticipate already. Thought I'd just share some of these thoughts with you. Kind of be kind of brief tonight. I'm really uh, here, my dad's here, uh, it's way out in the middle of nowhere, kind of, so to speak, and the upload is really bad. Uh, even if we use the computer system in the house here, it's worse than the phone itself, and the, wor the phone is not on even, even 3G. So we'll keep it short. Thank you for watching. Blessings to you, and thank you for your prayers. Shalom, shalom.